crazy right now, but what's up? PMS Radio. And I want this one to um, introduce himself. BX. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's That's up? the sound view area? We'll be yeah. From- okay. In the sound view area of the Bronx, you know, 30 degree ground, you already know what it is, man. You know, that's what it is. BX, stand up. Okay, yeah. sir, so tell the people how long you've been rapping. <laughs> My boy been writing rhymes and rapping since 1998. <laughs> 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 I'm saying 1900s, 88, you know what I'm saying? That's when I wrote my first rhyme. I'm saying, bro. It's real talk. I remember I was younger and... I used to hear, you know, third because, you know, being from Castle Hill, Soundview. Yeah. And it's crazy. He's still out and still doing his thing, yo. Okay. Shout out to you. Hard. I want to know, um, how did you get your name? Third Degree it sounds really dangerous. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's, a, it, it's dangerous in the aspect of, of, of a thinking way, you know what I'm saying? Because I got that name Third Degree due to a bad situation I was going through. You know what I mean? I, I, at the present time, I was incarcerated. And, um, it was a young dude I looked out a lot for, you know what I'm saying? His name was Lowe from BK, you know, like, Lowe, if you hear this, man, shout out to you, man. I'm still doing it. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean? He was just, like, he was really impressed with my music, you know what I mean? And and just the way, you know what I mean, my aggression was and my energy. And he's just like, he's like, yo, you be scorching niggas. Like, okay. Like so what degree. was your rap name before Third Degree? Uh, I went through I went through a lot of rap names. I went through Chaos. I went through <laughs> my name. My street name was like C-Murder. <laughs> that was kind of like my rap name at one time, you know. So I went through a lot of different phases. You got a lot of murder. I got to get away from you. Ah, uh, man, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> so what you working on now? What's the big project? Oh, the big project I'm working on right now, and, um, my new mixtape about to drop. You know what I'm saying? My new mixtape about to drop. I'm from the Bronx, the mixtape, you know what I mean? Nothing Safe, hosted by DJ Robbie Rob, you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. What up, Robbie Rob? Do you have any features on that mixtape? Um, yeah, I have some features on there. Um, I have my, one of my artists, Louis the 13th, um, he's featuring on there. I got, a. Uh, G Dot, you know what I'm saying? He was doing the Skrilla Hill thing and all that, you know what I'm saying? That's family, you know what I mean? He on there. Uh, basically, you know what I mean? I kept, it, I kept it family right now, you know what I'm saying? To put it on there. And, you know what I mean? I had some past features and, and, and things of that nature, but you know what I mean? I put out some, some, some past projects where people was just loving me for me. That's good. Okay. What about any female MCs? Like, you know any, any of those? Oh, yeah. Um... I uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying? Um, she's like one of my first female artists. Um, she go by Meek Murder, you know what I'm saying? And, um, okay. She take by her brother a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> see from my little tag name. And, uh, I'm working on some things with her. She write her own music and stuff. You know what I mean, since I can remember, she always been in my rhyme books, my, take my instrumentals and just like take her own venture. And I, and I love okay, her. Okay, I just want to make so. sure you're not biased. Shout out to your sister. Shout out to your sister. How old is she? Oh, my sister's 22 years old. Oh, nice. Okay. So, okay. She's doing her thing, you know what I mean? And um, I have some female um, R&B singers that I'm also working with. You know what I mean? I have a girl named Shannon that I'm working with. I have a girl named Moochie that I'm working with. And, uh, you know, they doing their thing and I'm working with them. So, so tell us about Grindhard. Oh, Grindhard Entertainment. Um, me and my brother, Trig Money, you know what I'm saying? Um, we started that company five years ago. Um, and um, basically, it came from a way of living for us, you know what I'm saying? What we do, the way we live, that's our slogan, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. Grindhard okay. Entertainment, you know what I mean? That's, but that's really really, you know what I mean? The name basically came from, you know what I mean? You know, I got to ask you the spicy questions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got a call on the line right now. <laughs> How about we like that? PMS Radio. Who's on the line? Hello. Hey. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. I hear you. What's going on? Hey. Who's this? This is uh, J5 from uh, Twitter. <laughs> what up? Hey, J5. Uh, say congratulations to yourself on your radio show. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. We appreciate it. You should know uh, who this is. I've been, uh, I did my show on Brooklyn College, the J5 show. I was talking about it. Oh, okay. okay. So, the, do you have any questions for third degree? Uh, what's the topic about today? Because uh, you didn't say. Oh, it in there's the room. not this. We have people what's here. You have topic? to listen. Are you watching? I'm sorry. Are you watching right now? I try to click on the link, but it's not loading. 
Oh, okay. okay, refresh your page. We're here with Third Degree. He's a rapper from Soundview BX area. Okay. What's going on, homie? How are you? Right. Right, well, uh, I congratulate him on being on your show, and uh, I, I wish him much success on his show. I mean, okay. All right, thank you for music. calling and keep supporting us. Thank you for right. supporting PMS. I hope you guys tune into my show when the new season starts in January. Okay. All right, thanks. So I wanted to know, and I always like to ask this question: Do you have any celebrity crushes? Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, I keep it, I keep it like I like to call myself the gangster and the gentleman. You know what I mean, um, <laughs> talk and tell, man. But I see some beautiful ladies out there, though, man. I have my eye on a little something, man, but I'm quiet. <laughs> okay, okay. He he does He wants to be low, so he didn't answer my question. It's all right, though. But besides that. that I what know. else are you working on? Like, do you do anything else other than rap? Oh, yeah, I do um, production. Um, I have my production company, Third World Productions. And um, also write R&B. Most of the R&B and melodies that's wrote on most of my projects, I usually write that for the artist, whether it be a male vocalist or a female vocalist. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. You know, I do some artist development also. So. Cool. I want to know um, who inspired you, like, to rap, like, the game has changed up so much like who I mean um, as artist wise yeah all right um, directly firstly starting from the beginning like talking about Coogee rap okay you know what I'm saying like LL has some influence on me okay. you know what I mean and there's a lot of dudes from back then you know what I'm saying like Run DMC like did, did, from that era you know what I'm saying from that mm -hmm. 80s era mm -hmm. you know what I mean um, that, that that had a strong impact on me because I, I started writing my first rhyme off like <laughs> Video or video music box, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. Ralph McDaniels and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, do you give back? Do you give oh, back to the community? Oh, yeah, I always try to give back to my community by doing little different things, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's just working in an, um, the local tournament, you know what I'm okay. saying? Which we had the Watson Classics. I've been with that since the first annual. We just had the 10th annual, so you know what I mean? I've been doing that for a bunch of years, working with the kids, giving back to the community, That's you know what I mean? So, so speaking yeah. about what Dollar asked you, she asked you who inspired you. Who in the industry now do you feel, you know, you actually like? Because there's a lot of, it's, it's a lack of real hip hop. So I want to know, what's your stamp? Like, what do you think is I? I mean, at the end of the, at the end of the day, it's, oh yeah, to me it all goes on everybody's work ethic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like got 50. He got his work ethic to the way he worked too. He gotta deserve to be where he's at because he worked to get there. You know what I'm saying? Hove. Work to be where he's at. You know what I'm saying? Them them workhorse dudes that that that, that put in their work, ludicrous. You know what I'm yes, saying? Dudes like, like that. That's that. like that that may not be given as much recognition as they supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And a bunch of other names that I could go into. You know what I'm saying? But basically, that's how I, I give my input on everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, your work ethic. And like I say that because I go into with. You know what I mean? My one of my artists, you know what I'm saying, which is also my brother, Louis Thirteenth. He always told me during his acting career something that he got from from a from a director of a movie. You know what I'm saying? It take ten years to make an overnight celebrity, and okay. as much as much work as I've been putting in, you know what I'm saying? I've been putting out CDs since '98. You know what I'm saying? I've been writing rhymes since '88. So you know what I mean? With that and saying, and this being you know what I mean, 2009 is like, you know what I mean, it take that time, you know what I mean? So you think 2010 is going to be your year? And I wanted to it's know, because you have people that's co-signing you, like DJ K Slay. I wanted to know what you feel like you're going to bring different into the game. And, you know, it's harder because you're from the Bronx, even yeah. though it started here. Yeah. How you feel like you're going to, like, I'm here. Shout no out to K Slay. Yeah, <laughs> but um, what I feel like I'm going to bring different is because, like, we don't want to have fun too much with it no more in New York. You know what I'm saying? That's what Everybody's I wanted to like, say. Like, 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 the fun is lost. It, it, it could be what it's going to be, you know what I mean? Because New York is going to be New York City, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you talk about certain things and just get a lot of artists that rhyme a certain way, well, that's because this is New York City, you know what I mean? But we're not so, grinding a lot in New York right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm real disappointed. Like, when I'm yeah. listening to the radio, I'm very disappointed right now. No, I mean, it's not that. It's the unity. Like, it's the unity factor. We don't care about each other. We don't support each other. That's how we give it up. But yeah. when people start to come together... I yeah, feel sometimes it. like um, a lot of times a lot of the rappers is looking for somebody to do something for them instead of doing it themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they cool with certain people, like they, they don't need to grind as something. hard as yeah, as hard as you know the person.